hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to make a crochet butterfly top so you'll need yarn a hook i'm using three millimeter hook a pair of scissors and a tape measure so let's get started make a slip knot then insert your hook in the slip knot and you will make chains so make four chains and then you will insert your hook in the third chain you will insert your hook in the third chain and make a double crochet like so you will make two more double crochets in that space So you will have four double crochets and then we will add one double crochet in the last chain space. Chain two, turn your work. So we will not make increases on the side that I'm having my hook and then on the other side we'll make increases. So go ahead and make a double crochet in the next space make another double crochet in the next space and then in the next we will make an increase so you'll make another double crochet there and then make your final double crochet in the chain two space so you'll be repeating the same thing so on one side you will not increase and then on the other side you'll be making one increase on each row chain two turn your work since this is the side that we are making an increase i'll go ahead and make a double crochet in the very first space that will act as an increase and then from here you will not increase so you'll only be increasing on this side so i'm making this top for cup c and this is what i have at this point so if you're making for cup a you will make you should be having at this point 2.5 inches if you're making for cup b you should be having you should reach here okay and then for cup c you should be having four inches next we're going to make one row of no increase so you'll insert your hook in the next and make a row of no increase you won't increase in this row next you're going to chain two turn your work and we'll start making decreases so you'll insert your hook here make an incomplete double crochet yarn over insert your hook in the next make another incomplete double crochet yarn over and pull through the three like that so you'll proceed making double crochets i'm at the end of that row and i'm going to make another decrease and we're having the last chain here you'll make an incomplete double crochet and make your decrease so you'll continue making decreases until you have two until you have two stitches i'm almost done so i'm just going to make a double crochet there and i'll be done chain one and pull your yarn through so this is what you'll be having i already made another one and yeah this is what i have so after you make the two let's go to the next part onto the next part make a slip knot and then you'll make five chains Five. 
we're going to make a double crochet on the third chain like that and then we will make another double crochet in the next and then on the last chain we'll make two double crochets one and two like that next row chain two turn your work and we're going to make an increase at the beginning the very first phase and then continue making double crochets and make another increase here and then make the last double crochet like that next chain two turn your work and we're going to make Two increases on this side and then on this side we'll be making one increase so for you to achieve that you're going to to put a stitch marker in the middle of your work like that so that on this side you'll be making one increase and then on this other side you'll be making two increases so one increase at the beginning and maybe another increase in the middle before you reach the this stitch mark so chain two turn your work and I'm going to make an increase here at the start and then make a double crochet make an increase proceed making double crochets until you reach the end of your work okay here we're going to make an increase and then finish by making the last double crochet like that so you'll remove your stitch marker and return it where it was to mark the center next row chain two turn your work this is the side with the one increase so we'll make an increase in the beginning and make double crochets until you reach your stitch marker once you reach your stitch marker remove it make a double crochet and you'll return it there to mark the center so since we made the previous increase here we're just going to make a double crochet first and then make an increase double crochet make an increase here and then finish by a double crochet by making a double crochet so this is what you'll be doing on this side you'll be making two increases and on this side one increase at the beginning I'm on row 9 so ensure that your increases are scattered so that it's not evident that uh, you are making increases. This is what I'm having so I made 9 rows uh, and it's measuring if you measure like this it will be 3.5 so it depends on how you put your tape measure if you put it like this it should be 3.5 inches okay so 
so if you're making for cup a you should have two inches here you should stop at this row if you're making for cup b you should stop here at two at this point if you're making for cup b and then cup c you should have 3.5 inches cup d you should have here if you're making for cup d so from here we're going to make two increases in each row so we'll increase at the beginning and at the end okay so if you're making for cup c you will make two increases for 10 more rows if you're making for cup b make increases for eight more rows and for cup a make increases for seven more rows and then for cup d 12 more rows so you'll be making increases at the beginning and at the end so i have made 10 more rows and this is what i have so for cup c it should be measuring 6.5 inches for cup B, you should be having uh, here. And then for cup A, you should be having here. It's like it's in between the two, okay? So from here, you'll go ahead and make two more rows of, of no increase. Two rows of no increase. So I made two more rows and this is what I have. So let's measure it. If you're making for cup C, you should be having, should be having these inches. Cup B should be having 5.8 and then cup A you should be having 4.8 inches. Cup D you should have 8.5 inches or uh, nine inches so the total number of rows for cup a was 14 cup b 17 cup c 21 and cup d 24. so go ahead and make chains on this side the side that we were making two increases so on that side go ahead and make chains This is what I'm having now. So we'll go ahead and make the middle part. So you're going to make a slip knot and then make four chains. You're going to insert your hook in the third chain from your hook and make a double crochet you'll make another double crochet in the same space and then one double crochet in the last chain space so the next row you'll chain two turn your work and make two double make another double crochet here and then double crochet you have two remaining you'll make two double crochets here and one final one here from here you'll make two rows of no increase I made two rows of no increase so next we will start by making an increase at the beginning you'll increase at the beginning and at the end of your work then you make one last Next, you're going to increase again. So you'll start by making a double crochet in the very first space and then proceed. 
and make another increase here just before the last stitch next row we're going to make an increase so a decrease sorry so make a double crochet and then yarn over make an incomplete double crochet yarn over and make another incomplete one and pull through the three so make a decrease at the start and at the end once you're done with this row you're going to turn your work and make a slip stitch in the very first space and another one in the next and another one so you'll make three slip stitches chain two and make a double crochet in the next space and another you'll make two more double crochets here and then next you're going to chain two turn your work and make double crochets until you reach the end of your row and you'll be done so this is what I have so next you're going to make chains long enough and you'll make chains here and you'll make another chain here after making the middle part this is what you should be having and now we're going to join our work remember the side that you are making for this part the side that you are making two increases should face the upper part and then the one that you're making one increase should be on should be lying across like this so we'll join this point and this point and then we'll also join this part and this part so let's join the we'll just tie this two to avoid confusion after you tie the two we will join on this side make a slip knot and you'll insert your hook at this corner okay and then you'll go ahead and insert on this side also like that set your hook in the slip knot and pull through chain one okay the hanging yarn here we will put it we'll bring it in front and we will hide it as we join our work so insert your hook in the next point like so and then this yarn should be the one we're supposed to hide should be on top of your hook like that yarn over pull through like that and make a single crochet so just hide the yarn and then on this side also you will hide this yarn okay so we're here you'll just take these two and hold them like this okay so you'll insert your hook like that and also on the other side then ensure that they are on top of your hook yarn over pull through and make a single crochet like that so proceed until the end so that's it and this is how you hide your yarn as you crochet so just cut that and then from here once you reach the end chain one pull through and cut your yarn 
go ahead and join the other part the other side like this this is what you should be having after joining the two so we'll join the middle part I have finished joining the middle part and this is what I have so go ahead and weave in your ends thank you guys for watching please like share subscribe and comment down below and let me know what you think about this video and i hope you will enjoy making this top